In this video, we'll cover the mounting process for the YT3300 and YT3400 positioners onto a rotary and a linear actuator and show how quick and easy it is to do. A standard bracket kit is included with each positioner for rotary mounting, but other bracket options are available for both rotary and linear mounting. Contact the factory for details. We'll begin with the process for mounting on a rotary actuator with the standard bracket. The bracket is designed to fit onto an actuator with 20, 30, and 50 millimeter stem heights. Attach the lower bracket to the actuator and the upper bracket to the positioner using the supplied hardware. Make sure to orient the positioner to match the rotation of the actuator. Once you have everything in place, tighten all of the bracket bolts. Next, we'll cover the mounting process for linear actuators with our standard mounting bracket. First, attach the bracket to the positioner. Attach the connection bar to the actuator stem clamp. Insert the connection bar between the feedback lever and lever spring. The connection bar must be located upward from the lever spring to avoid excessive tension and wear. Attach the bracket and positioner to the actuator yoke, but don't fully tighten the bolts yet. Connect air to the actuator temporarily. Supply enough air pressure to position the valve stroke at 50% of the total stroke. Make sure the feedback lever is horizontal to the valve stem at 50% of the valve stroke. If it is not horizontal, adjust the bracket or the connection bar. After installing the positioner, operate the valve from open to close to check for clearance of the lever stops on the back of the positioner. If the feedback lever touches the stops, the positioner should be installed further away from the yoke. Now, tighten all of the bolts on the bracket and the connection bar. The mounting process for the positioners is straightforward and as this video shows, can be done quickly and easily. The YT3300 and YT3400 smart valve positioners, reliable, durable.